warm greetings from tnv academy today in this session we are going to discuss about vulnerability assessment and penetration testing we begin our session by taking a note of the key learning of this session at the end of this session you will be able to understand what is vulnerability assessment and penetration testing what is the difference between vulnerability assessment and penetration testing what are the benefits of vapt what are the types of vapt how often you should conduct vapt what are vapt tools what are the deliverables from a vulnerability assessment and penetration testing and the process of vapt so let's start our discussion by knowing what is vapt vulnerability assessment and penetration testing is a wide term that refers to a variety of security assessment services aimed at identifying and mitigating cyber security risk through an organization's it infrastructure a vapt audit is designed to test the overall security of a system by performing an in-depth security analysis of its various elements the goal of a vapt audit is to identify the overall vulnerabilities present in the software which hackers can exploit vapt security audit is carried out through a systematic process involving various tools techniques and methodologies with the growing number of cyber attacks and the increasing sophistication of malware and hacking techniques organizations are adopting vulnerability assessment and penetration testing as a means of identifying and mitigating security vulnerabilities vapt involves a hands on approach to testing the overall security of an it infrastructure by simulating a hacker attack VAPT testing could be effectively used to evaluate the vulnerabilities of a system and provide a detailed report of how a hacker can circumvent the existing security system. Now let us understand that what is the major difference between the two terms vulnerability assessment and penetration testing. A vulnerability assessment or vulnerability scan is an information security process used to identify weaknesses or vulnerabilities in a computer system or network. The purpose of a vulnerability assessment is to determine the system's vulnerabilities and help the system operator correct them. The assessment can be performed manually or automatically. If performed manually, the tester will follow an assessment procedure to identify the vulnerabilities. If the manual assessment is not sufficient or time consuming, then an automated vulnerability assessment can be used. Whereas a penetration test or pen test is an authorized simulatic attack on a computer system performed to evaluate the system's security it can be described as a form of security audit but often implies a level of aggressiveness beyond simple audit procedures penetration tests are performed with the consent and knowledge of the owner of the system they are typically performed to find security weaknesses before criminals or unethical hackers find and exploit them now as we learned about the difference between these two terms let us understand the key benefits of vapt The few of the major benefits of VAPT are it will provide you with a thorough assessment of your application it will assist you in identifying security flaws or faults that might lead to catastrophic cyber attacks VAPT provides a more complete picture of the dangers posed to your network or application it assists businesses in defending their data and systems from harmful assaults compliance standards necessitate the use of VAPT It defends your company against data loss and unwanted access. It will assist you in safeguarding your data from both external and internal dangers. Now let us discuss about the types of VAPT usually performed across organizations. There are basically five types of testing usually practiced and performed within organization. The first one is network penetration testing. Network penetration testing is a security audit by which you check the security of a network. It is one of the most effective ways to detect and prevent potential and actual cyber attacks and hacks and protect your sensitive data and information that you store and transfer across the network. The idea is to simulate a cyber attack and try to break into the system. Network penetration testing is the most effective way to detect potential and actual cyber attacks and hacks and protect your sensitive data and information that you store and transfer across the network. The second one is web application penetration testing. Web application penetration testing is a process that is used for analyzing the security of the website. It is used to find out the vulnerabilities of the website or its web applications. It can be used for a white hat or black hat purposes. The web application penetration testing is done to find out the loopholes of the website before malicious hackers can find it. Penetration testing is generally done to find out the security weaknesses of the website which are then reported to the concerned team. 
the third one is mobile penetration testing mobile penetration testing is a process of testing a mobile application for security vulnerabilities this process is done to ensure that the applications are not leaking confidential information to the third party it is a crucial step for a mobile application as a single minor flaw in the system can cost a company a lot of revenue mobile application penetration includes testing all kinds of mobile applications such as android penetration testing or android applications ios penetration testing for ios applications hybrid applications api penetration testing api penetration testing is a vital part of any company's security infrastructure as a company's data and infrastructure becomes increasingly exposed to the internet the threat of a breach is a more significant concern than ever before but more than just a single point of failure apis are a substantial risk to the integrity of a company's internal infrastructure most companies have a variety of apis that allow internal tools data and infrastructure to be used by employees and third party applications in the wrong hands these apis can be used to spread malware steal data and manipulate an organization's infrastructure from the inside an api penetration test is a perfect way to assess the security of your api which is increasingly becoming a tempting target for cyber attackers the fifth one is cloud penetration testing cloud penetration testing is a type of security testing that analyzes a cloud computing environment for vulnerabilities that hackers could exploit cloud penetration testing is used to test the security of cloud computing environments and determine if a cloud provider's security measures and controls can resist attacks these tests should be performed before a company moves applications and data to the cloud and on an ongoing basis as part of a cloud provider's security maintenance a third party security firm will likely perform a cloud penetration test as part of a company's cloud infrastructure security assessment now let us discuss that how often organizations should conduct vapt vapt security is the process of finding vulnerabilities in your website security the question of how often you should perform a vapt is a tricky one because the answer depends on a lot of factors some of the most important factors include first one how many vulnerabilities will a vapt find second one how long the vapt will take how much a vapt will cost fourth one what kind of data is being stored fifth one compliance requirement but as a general rule of thumb you should test your network and applications for vulnerabilities at least twice a year we will now look what are the most famous and common tools available for conducting vapt vulnerability assessment and penetration testing is the combination of tools and techniques used to assess the security of a software application or a network vapt tools are a group of software tools used to test the security of a system network or application Companies can use VAPT tools for auditing systems for vulnerabilities, checking the network's security status, and ensuring the network's security. Top three open source tools to perform VAPT are: first one, Wireshark. Wireshark is a network traffic analyzer, monitoring software that allows you to see what traffic flows through your system network. It is open source and is the most popular network analyzer in the world. Network administrator and professionals mainly use it to troubleshoot network and system performance issues and monitor and filter different network protocols. Many security professionals and hackers also use it to test and hack into networks and network devices. The second one is Nmap. Nmap is an open source network administration tool for monitoring network connections. It is used to scan large networks and helps for auditing hosts and services and intrusion detection. It is used for both packet level and scan level analysis of network hosts. And Map is free of cost and available to download. The third one is Metasploit. Metasploit is a framework for developing and executing exploit code against a remote target machine. It was initially released in 2003 by HD Moore as an open source project. Penetration testers use Metasploit to develop and validate the exploit code before using it in the real world. it can be used to test the security of a network or to hack into a remote computer we will now discuss what are the key deliverables of a vapt ideally a vulnerability assessment and penetration testing activity should result in the following deliverables the first one is executive report a high level overview of the activity conducted summary of issues identified risk ratings and action items are included in this report the second one is technical report a detailed report explaining each issue identified step by step pocs for each issue 
code and configuration examples to fix the issue and reference links for further details are considered under this report. The third one is real-time online dashboard. An online portal that allows your teams to monitor the audit progress in real time, take immediate action for high-risk issues, track fixes and closure status, etc. Finally, we will discuss what is the process of VAPT. Here's the step-by-step -step vulnerability assessment process to identify the system vulnerabilities. Step 1. Defining the goals and objectives. In this step, vulnerability analysis, goals and objectives are defined by the organization. Step 2. Scope. While performing the assessment and test, scope of the assignment needs to be clearly defined. The following are the three possible scope that exist. The first one is black box testing. Testing from an external network with no prior knowledge of the internal network and system is called black box testing. The second one is gray box testing. Testing from either external or internal networks with the knowledge of the internal network and system is the combination of both black box testing and white box testing. The third one is white box testing. Testing within the internal network with the knowledge of the internal network and system, also known as internal testing. Step 3. Information gathering. In this particular step, obtaining as much information about IT environment such as networks, IP address, operating system version, etc. is applicable. It's applicable to all three types of scopes such as black box testing, gray box testing and white box testing. Step 4. Vulnerability detection. In this process, vulnerability scanners are used to scan the IT environment and identify the vulnerabilities. Step 5. Information analysis and planning. It will analyze the identify vulnerabilities to devise a plan for penetrating into the network and system. We have now come to the conclusion of this particular session. In case you have any questions about today's topic, then please put them in the comment section of the video and we will be really happy answering them. Till our next session, best wishes from TNV Academy.